Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome to Dan Biomedical. Today, I'm going to take you through an equipment called Patient Monitor. So, I'm going to take you through the monitoring of the SpO2, spontaneous oxygen level, the temperature, the um, blood pressure of a patient, and then the ECG of the patient, and how to also manipulate and calibrate and do a self-test on your patient monitor. So what you are seeing here on the screen is the patient monitor. So you can see this is Mindry IPM12. This is the product of the patient monitor. Right here is the power button where you switch on the patient monitor. It's coming on. It's coming up. You can see right here, there is a silence button. If you want to silence the alarm, if it's giving you an alarm that is disturbing and you want to silence it, this alarm pause is a freeze button, the record button, this is NIBP button. This button is used for the blood pressure. This is the menu button. If you want to do anything like calibration and other stuff, this you use mostly the menu button to go into the interface where you can do your calibration and testing of various parameters and self-test as well. This is a knob. This is a knob. So you use this to select. Yeah, you can see. Just like it's moving on the screen there, that is enough. Use it to select whatever parameter or whatever side you want to work with. So now the monitor is on. First, I want to show you the temperature probe. So right here is a, right here is the temperature probe. I hope you can see it clearly. This is the temperature probe. This is the connection. This is how it looks like. This is how the temperature probe looks like. There is a part here where you connect it. If you look closely, you will see here written T1, T2. So you can connect to any of the ports. This year is the this year is the SpO2 probe for monitoring spontaneous oxygen level. This is the SpO2 probe, and right here is the connector for the SpO2 probe. This is the connector port, and this is the probe connector. So you connect it right there. If you check here, there's an arrow that indicates the direction of the connection. So you connect it right there at the port. And this here is the aux this is the ECG probe. This is the ECG probe. I hope you can see the probe here. This is the ECG probe. These are the parts that are being connected to the patient for monitoring the ECG. So this is the ECG connector. And this is the ECG port. This is the ECG port on the machine. You can see the written ECG. So there's also a direction here that tells you which direction to connect it. So you just connect it right there. Next is the blood pressure probe. So this here is the blood pressure probe. You can see this cuff is connected to the patient's arm. And this is the connector that goes into the monitor. This part goes into the monitor. So, and this is the port for the. Uh, this is the port that you connect the BP cuff to. So, you connect it right there at the port there. That's it. And this here is the rebreather. This here, you can see what I'm pointing here. This is the rebreather 
probe. It also goes into the patient. So this is it. So these are the various ports you connect your probes to. And if you, if I turn the back here, you can see behind here this is the power. There's the power cable connected to the back here. This is what brings power to the patient monitor. So okay, we are done with that. Now let's go to the various processes of monitoring the various parameters of the patient. Now as you can see, I've taken you through all the probes, the connectors, and the connection ports. Now I want to take you through the various ways to monitor the patient. So first, I will start with the temperature, temperature monitoring. Remember this probe, temperature probe, right? So this is where you connect to the patient, actually. Now you can see, you can take a look at this. This is where the temperature will be reading. Now, if you take a look at that number there, you can see. Take a look, you see, the number is decreasing. You can see that? Look at where my hand is pointing here. You see the number is decreasing? You see? Sorry. The number is decreasing, you see? It's going down. It will keep decreasing and going down like that. It will continue going down. So now it is going down based on the temperature of the atmosphere because this probe is not connected to any body parts. I follow in. So once you connect this cable to any body part, it will automatically start increasing and reading the temperature of that body part that is connected to. Now you see it 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 is still going down 25.8 now. So I can now fix in my hand here, you see? This part goes to the patient. So if I hold here, you see do I hold it? It's, it's, it's increasing now, can you see? Can you see it's increasing? Can you see it's increasing? Now, what happens is that this part is where you attach to the patient that you, are, that you want to monitor the temperature. So you attach this part I'm holding to the patient body. You make it firm there. Then it will keep reading the patient temperature and to tell you the temperature of the patient. Do you understand? So that's it. See, it's increasing. So that means it's reading the temperature of my, or the body part that is attached to that probe. I follow you see it's going up. Can you see? It's going up. It's going up. I see it's going up. So this is my temperature. It's, it's increasing. I follow you. So when I take off my hand from that probe, you will see as time goes on, it will be decreasing. You see? It's going down. You see? It's going down already. And if I hold it again, it will, it will start increasing again. You see? It has begin to increase again. See? It's increasing. So this is the part you attach to the patient in order to get your temperature reading that the patient from the patient body. So that is that. So I'll take you to the next probe I want to show to you. The next probe I'll show to you now is the SpO2 probe, the spontaneous oxygen level. This probe is used to monitor the spontaneous oxygen level of the patient. So this is how that probes look like. Um, can this is how the probe looks like. So this is the probe. This probe is used to check this to monitor the spontaneous oxygen level of the patient. SpO2. See, SpO2 is written there, as you can see. You can see the SPO2 there. So this is where the, the, the result will be displayed. So what do you do to, to monitor the SPO2 spontaneous oxygen level of the patient, you fix it in one of the fingers of the patient. Like I'm fixed, you see? You see? You see why I fix it? You see? So to monitor the SPO2 of a patient, you fix it. You see my finger? You can see? You open it. Fix it in one of the fingers of the patient. So you see, you will see this. You see, it's reading. Can you see that? Can you see? Can you see? Look at the results. 
Have you seen it? So now you can see the results. So this is my SpO2 level. This is my spontaneous oxygen level. Have you seen it? This is my this is the pressure. This is my heart heart rate, heart beat pressure. Have you seen it? Spontaneous oxygen level and my pressure, my heart beat. Can you see that? You see? You see the waveform? Can you see the waveform? <clears throat> this is my oxygen level. You see? So this is how to monitor a patient's oxygen level, SpO2, spontaneous oxygen level. This is the probe that does that. It's called SpO2 probe. And I showed you the connector and we have to connect it actually. So this is the probe using monitoring the patient's oxygen level. And this is how you connect it to the patient's fingers. So next, I will be taking you through how to check the patient blood pressure. Yeah, so next, I will take you through how to check the blood pressure of the patient. I want to take you through how to check the blood pressure of the patient. So in checking the blood pressure, like I told you before, this is what we use. You can see the cough right here. I already showed you the cough before. This is the cough. This is the DP cough that we use for the checking the blood pressure of the patient. So this is how it is. So you check the direction of wounding it, see? So you wound this cuff around the patient arm. So I'm going to wound it around my arm. So you are wounding this cuff, you are wrapping it in the patient arm, just like this. You can see it is wrapped in my arm. So assuming this is the patient, you wrap it around the patient's upper arm. That is the upper arm actually. You see. So you, this is the button for the PP. It's written there NIBP. I don't know if you can see it clearly. It's written there NIBP. I assume you can see it clearly. You can see NIBP. So that is the button that you use to check the blood pressure of a patient. So, so right now I'm going to press it so you can hear the sound. So it's, act, it's, it's also inflating, and I can feel it in my upper arm. You can see it's counting, it's reading here. Can you see that? It is reading. Now it's going down. You see the number here is decreasing. It's decreasing gradually. Decreasing gradually. Decreasing gradually. You can see that decreasing gradually. Here. Over here now you can see my BP. So you see after it counted here, when inflating, it started decreasing the number by which means it's deflating. So after inflating, it will deflate. That when you press it here, it will start inflating and then it will start deflating. Then after that, it will display the results here. So this is now the result of my BP, my blood pressure, 148.74. Now, the reason why my BP is high is because I have done a lot of ups and downs running here and there, so it has tend to increase. So this is the result, this is where the result of the BP will, of the patient will always display for you to see. Grab to so this where the result always display. So um, that is that on those various parameters on the BP pressure. So for the ECG monitoring, I can't really show you that for now because I will need to connect those ECG probes like these probes. I will need to connect these ECG probes on a patient body. If I can be able to demonstrate the much of ECG for you. So, but uh, with uh, patient monitor, basically, those are the various parameters, the various 
monitoring we do when using a patient monitor, basically, that is uh, the, the temperature of the patients, we monitor that. The SpO2, spontaneous oxygen of a patient, we monitor that with the patient monitor. And then the BP of the patient, the blood pressure of the patient. So we monitor these three basic parameters when connecting a patient monitor on a patient. Uh, so the ECG, we usually use this, uh, there's a machine made especially for ECG. So we usually use that machine mostly to do ECG for a patient. So we don't really use this that much, but this monitor can also be used for ECG. Thank you. So on the next video, I'm going to take you through how to calibrate a patient monitor, just in case you are experiencing some issues like giving you wrong results so you can do a calibration on the monitor to get back your normal results so in the next video i will take you through calibration and self-test of a patient monitor please like comment and subscribe thank you